Complexities. And that is one of the things that Red Hood faces. And I feel like this video today will be dedicated to Mr. Jason Todd, AKA the Red Hood himself. Now, could I be making this video because I am gonna be main in Red Hood when Gotham Knights comes out? Hm, who knows? Could it be the fact that Mr. Stephen O. Young himself has followed me on Twitter, who is the voice actor for Red Hood? Is that the reason why I'm making this video? Who knows? Now, but the real reason that I am making this video is complexities. When it comes to Jason Todd, he is as complex as they come. I'm not taking anything away from the other knights. They all have their internal struggles, their internal turmoils, and everything that's an obstacle for them to keep progressing forward to the next stage. But when it comes to Jason Todd, we need to really comprehend what is going on with this guy. This guy has died. Death. Finito. And then he was resurrected. And dependent on what way this story is going to go. But we know that Jason had issues with the fact that Batman did not do right by him when he died. And that caused a lot and when I say a lot a lot of problems between those two now stepping away from that when it comes to this game to be able to convey that through visuals through dialogue and everything like that we have to understand that this game is going to be dealing with subject matters that are strange or unknown to us because I haven't died and come back so this this is a credit to Mr. Stephen O. Young maybe this is my credit video of like my thank you video for him following me but we need to appreciate how or where he had to dig within his mind within his own life journey to 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 grasp onto this concept because as humans you know as life unfortunately well sadly you know it comes to an end at some point i don't want to sound too morbid but we've all suffered loss and that is something that we can draw upon but how do you draw upon getting your mind into the frame of like you died and you came back to life and you're dealing with resurrection like that ain't no easy feat to do that ain't something that you can just like jump into that takes a lot of like deep i don't know some deep analytic questions that you need to to get you get your mind prepared for and i think i did say on a previous video that i feel like tim drake would have a very interesting arc but i do feel like jason todd red hood will have a very very interesting arc especially the fact that I strongly believe, and this is speculation only, that the League of Assassins will be in the game. And if the League of Assassins are in it, there's going to be some questions and there's going to be some things that need to be answered for Jason. In order for him to become a true knight, he has, to, he has to go somewhere and delve into his own deep dark secrets and his own, his, his own personal trauma. And when I say trauma, the trauma, and, I, and this game has been in development for many years. And I feel like the writing team has really captured something here where we haven't experienced, like we've seen these in comics and we've seen these in animation and stuff like that. But to actually see this play out and to be involved and visually see these interactions, whether it be with the Knights, with villains, with the League of Assassins, like whoever it is, I'm gonna be sitting at the edge of my chair, like trying to see where this is going, see, see if like Jason, us or whoever character you're playing as is gonna get the correct responses and answers that you need, which I know we are, but it's gonna be that gripping and that immersive that we're gonna feel like this is actually happening to us, I would imagine. Like, 
We've seen and read about Jason Todd and his various adventures through like comic books and stuff like that. But to actually witness this and have our own time with it and processing what we're learning and seeing what direction the, the next step is and everything like that, that is something new. And it's just a blessing that this is something that we're going to be able to be a part of and witness. And I feel like more credit when it comes to this game needs to be given to the writing team and even the voice actors for taking on such like I want to say troublesome but damaged characters yeah they're heroes don't get me wrong they're heroes in their own right saving Gotham and doing right by the citizens and stuff like that but they have some things to deal with and I'll talk about the other people at a later date but they really do have some things to deal with and this really is more of the the story aspect of this game where it comes to like heart you know like one thing is having one thing is having a great superhero game that's without a doubt but when that story has heart and that story has conviction and it keeps you involved that's when that's when it becomes something else now some boxes should be popping up on the screen right now go watch another video subscribe and let me know what you think how do you feel about the connection between player and character?